All right, Brandon Northwick here, and today we're going to be going into how to start generating high quality clients as a professional service provider in the next 30 days, following these six simple steps. So, what's in this for you by joining this training today? I'm glad that you asked. Okay, we're going to walk through how to actually find the absolute best people to work with, but more importantly, how to find the best people who also have the most money. Very important aspect, right? You're also going to walk away with how to sell your to your ideal customers and clients without having that endless list of credentials that some people think that you got to have or any past experience at all. Now, this is really cool. Some really cool concepts we're going to go over today, especially if you're brand new, okay? Because I know that getting clients without experience is hard to get and you can't get experience until you have clients. So we're gonna get you off that nasty little hamster wheel and we're gonna get you into uh, filling your pipeline and starting to really get those high quality clients that you know you wanna work with with your company. So here's why it's vital that you stay until the end, okay? We're gonna be able to get into complete clarity and motivation to take action. It's not gonna be one of those highly overwhelming, you know, or really bland vanilla type of workshops today. We're going to get into some clear, concise steps of action that you could take to get your clients in the next 30 days. Now, you're also going to walk away with a complete understanding of what you need to do to fill your pipeline, as well as you're going to see for yourself exactly how to put it all together to score even more wins for your business. That's what this whole purpose, the intention of today is, okay? Now, you're also going to be able to know what your competitors are not doing, giving you what we call this invisible leverage. Okay, stop focusing on what they are doing and start focusing on what they're not doing. Help fill those gaps in for those other companies and watch what happens to the clarity inside of your own business. Now, I'm also going to be laying out some proven steps to bring in the money. I mean, I'm talking these steps that have been tested by not only myself, but others who've invested tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, we're going to let you walk away with some of the most incredible feelings, which is a sense of assurance. Because if you're not pulling in at least $100,000 a year right now in sales and your business, uh, you're going to get to see the step-by-step -step plan that'll get you to obliterate that revenue cap. And most importantly, I'm going to give you my ironclad personal guarantee that if you listen and implement exactly what I share and how I share it, that you will get clients in the next 30 days. So <laughs> commence crazy I guess, embarrassing dance, okay, because that's what you're going to be doing at the end of this workshop. You're going to be able to see exactly what we're doing and how you can do it um, and what you're going to be able to do without a large ad budget, without any experience. And, and <laughs> it's going to make it to where it's real easy for you to see how soon this actual lifestyle change can be for you. So I'm excited to share this information. Now let's get into why this class would be just a little bit different, okay? Well, number one, it's not gonna be all about me. I'm actually only gonna spend about 60 seconds on myself <laughs> and it's probably not even gonna be that long, okay? Just to let you know a little bit about who I am and what I've done, uh, 60 seconds tops, I bet you. And you're also gonna leave with, like I said, actionable steps that can help your business grow over 500,000 in the next 24 months. But first, what we're gonna focus on today is actually start getting you your first few clients, okay? And filling your pipeline if you already got a few clients. Now, the biggest and most obvious reason this is gonna be different, it's not a sales pitch in disguise, okay? So you can rest at ease about that. Uh, to give you my 60 second blitz, go ahead and start your clocks, okay? I've been an entrepreneur since I was the age of 16. Uh, I've actually ran four different companies uh, into the ground, I guess you could say. Well, they weren't existing, so I couldn't really run them into the ground if I never built them up. But it took me a long time to get the skill sets that I have now that I'm gonna be able to share with you. A lot of failures. Um, so I don't want you to think that I'm just somebody who came in and, and just got some overnight success. We're talking about over 16 years now of, of getting in the grind and building these businesses. Of the last 36 months, I've been having the, you know, the bless, I'm blessed to work with over 45 companies and covering 13 different industries. And we've been also blessed to launch an online academy that's helped me work with hundreds and help hundreds of, employee, of entrepreneurs globally. I'm talking from all around the world. I'm a family man. I live currently out in Katy, Texas, where I moved here from Las Vegas not too long ago after living there, born and raised. I got a beautiful wife and my three insane kids out here with me. So anybody out there right now, if you're listening to this and you have, you're watching this and you got kids and you're running the business, man, God bless you. God bless you because I know what it's like, okay? <laughs> you're a whole other kind of breed. Uh, I'm also a loyal Cowboys fan, a terrible part-time rapper according to my, my wife would tell you, and she's an honest woman, <laughs> and a connoisseur of a good bottle of Melbeck. So that, there's that right there. And since... That's really all I got for you about me. What you've heard about high-end client acquisition is absolutely dead wrong. And I'm going to actually reveal to you why that is, but more importantly, what you can do about it today. Now, today we're going to cover the six absolutes that you must follow so you can get your next client 
in the next 30 days or less. And then leverage that into $100,000 in sales in the next 10 months and then over a half mil in the next 24 months or less, okay? Now, <laughs> what I'm gonna share with you is gonna get you there, okay? Now, it's up to you to pick up your feet and make sure it happens, right? So step one's gonna be to, who's got my money? Okay, you gotta be asking yourself this question every single day. Who's got my money? When you think about where your money's coming from, it really brings you back to the entry point of what got you into business in the first place. What got you to create this product or this service? Well, it was understanding that there were some people out there who had a problem. And when you start to really dive deep into you know, the mindset of that person, you start to come down to what we call your primary customer or your primary client. So we want you to make sure that these ideas that we have, a lot of the times as business owners, we believe that we have a very clear cut idea about who it is that we're marketing to. But then when we go through these, prop, uh, these, prop, these exercises, it shows that we're not really as clear as we would like. So we want you to get hyper specific and start by identifying their goals, the values, people who influence you know, your primary customer, their challenges, their role within the decision making process, which is a key one. And we're gonna go into actually showing you the layout that we use for us and our clients to make sure that when we do meet with a uh, you know, business owner or, or, or you know, prospect, that we can get to the bottom of whether or not they're as clear as they think they are. Because a lot of the times, this is where the problems start. And then everything after this becomes an issue because this is not right. So this is why it's a very important exercise. I wanted to make sure I shared that with you today. And so if you could take a look at this, down the middle is typically what people see or hear about when they talk about perfect avatars or perfect customer profiles, you know, the basic things, the age, the gender, the marital status. But what we want to do is focus on the white boxes on the outside. You're going to see the goals and values. You're going to see the challenges and pain points. You're going to see the sources of info and the role in their decision-making process and the objections that they currently give as a consumer. If you fill in everything from the middle outward, you're going to be able to see exactly how we can start to create the solutions, how we can start to create the marketing campaigns and what type of language you need to use and how we're going to create and craft the images, right? All these things are going to come from understanding who your market is. Now, this is using a female template. You are going to be able to use a male and a female, right? You want to break this down so you have them actually gender specific because when you start to see the price point and the difference in uh, you know, getting one versus the other, your messages are going to be different. Everything follows. Next thing you want to do is make sure that you go through this whenever you get into a new segment of your market or you create a new product or a new service. So it's not a one time and then I'm done. You want to make sure you're redoing this over and over again. Now, you want to clearly define their situations and their solutions after you've gone through that one worksheet. You want to make sure now, once you have all those answers, you want to make sure that now you've gone through and you can start to apply the problems that that person is facing or that that market is facing. We call this the Situations and Solutions Exercise. I'm going to share with you that clarity worksheet in just a second. What we're going to do, though, just to kind of give you some context, is we're going to lay out a clearly defined you know, map of the top problems that they're going to have and the, the top solutions to those problems. Okay, we want to make sure that whatever those solutions are, are going to lead them to the road of whatever your product or service is. So all roads lead to your product or service. So this is going to allow you to see what we need to either create or what you already may have that we can add on to start making you some more money. So this is what the sheet looks like. It's very basic. On the left-hand side, down that column, you're going to be able to identify their problems, your market's problems. Make sure you get as you know top three okay you want to make sure these are the top three problems that your market's facing if it's not a top three problem then it's going to be harder for uh you know really you to to make sure you're relevant in the right time at the right place if a lot more people have this problem and you're going to be able to be relevant to a lot more people right and think about not as being specific. So on the left-hand side, under these situations, you might be able to say, hey, look, maybe the problem is leads. In my, in my business, a lot of the times people are lacking leads. So their major problem is no, no pipeline, no consistent lead flow coming through, right? So a solution to that might be a lead generation funnel. A solution to that might be a brand awareness funnel. A solution to that might be creating a specific type of giveaway. A solution, just there's so many different ways for, you know, holding a live event. <laughs> there's a lot of different solutions to creating leads and generating leads that they might not be doing. So what I do is I put that over to the solution side. And then another situation might be something about low sales. What I might ask is, do they have back-end sales sequences? Are they running paid advertising? Do they have multiple offers being ran? 
You know, are they, what do they have going on? And then I'd be able to have the solutions off to the right. You want to make sure that you have at least three solutions for every situation. What you just did is when you fill out this sheet, you're going to be able to have your solutions now be your video topics. They're going to be your services. They're going to be your offers. They're going to be your products. And now you've created an entire business model based upon, or at least a service package or some type of offer based around solutions you know that are problems, at least major problems in your market today. Okay, so you could make this on a blank piece of paper. You could print out something that looks just like it, but make sure that you have the situations and solutions exercise. Make sure, okay, at least three situations off to the left and at least three solutions attached to each situation. Okay, this will give you at least nine to 12 different ways to provide more value and add on additional products or services or create giveaways to build up your lead generation pipeline. Okay, now step two, now that we understand exactly who's got your money, now we gotta figure out how to price yourself because your lifestyle matters and it matters to me and I hope it matters to you and I know that when we first get started in business, we think to ourselves that we can just kind of marry the business, right? We're gonna go ahead and get full and I remember I remember saying crazy things and working very long hours and knowing that, okay, that can only last for so long, but five years, 10 years down the road, you don't want to be in that same position doing work that you don't want to be doing because you made some poor decisions early on because of the way you priced yourself. So make sure now you're pricing yourself accordingly and that you understand you want to price it based upon your lifestyle. So first thing out the gate is, of course, you have to forget your competition. Don't use somebody else in your space as the bar in which to set your prices. Don't ever do that. Okay, strategically gain control of your time by using you know, our proven, predictable, four-step profits formula. Okay, I'm gonna go into this right now. So this is a good time for you to break out your pen and your paper, okay, or bookmark the time of this video because I'm, or this training because I'm telling you right now that this is gonna help you, okay? Part one is gonna be about knowing your numbers, which we're gonna get into. Part two is number knowing the ideal number of clients you could work with. Part three is tallying the total revenue. And part four is pinpointing the minimum price that you could work with. Now, the first couple questions that we have to answer in order to know our numbers is how much money per month you want to take home in profits. Go ahead and write that down right now. And then how many hours per week do you want to work realistically? And then I want you to write that down right now. And then how many hours per week are you spending on each client session and fulfillment? So think about this. If you're offering consulting services or done for you services, how many times per week are you going to meet with that client and for how long? And then add in the fulfillment side of what it is that you're going to be doing for them. If you're not doing any work and you're just meeting with them as a consultant, then you might have one hour for every week. So you're, you might be looking at four hours total, right? Who knows? But we're going to fill in these numbers with real answers in a second. But just for right now, know these numbers and get it going. Part two now is just a simple division, right? We're going to be able to divide question number two from question number three over from part one. Okay, so look over at the bottom two questions over there. And we're going to go ahead and divide question two from question three. It's going to give us the number of clients we can work with. Now what we're going to do is get our revenue. So we're going to get the profit. So the answer that you gave from question number one, part one. We're gonna add that to your business expenses, your taxes, your investments, all that grown up stuff that we really hate paying for, that's what we're gonna be putting into right now, okay? When we have the answer to that, now you're looking at the total revenue, which brings us to part four. We're gonna divide now the part that of the revenue from part three from the answer to part two, okay? So what we've done now is we put our amount of revenue divided by the number of ideal clients that we need to work with, which is gonna give us the minimum price that we need to charge for each client. Okay, so now that we've done through all that, let's actually see what it looks like in action, okay? Okay, so let's say that you have $13,000 per month in profits that you wanna take home. You wanna go ahead and you're okay with working 40 hours per week, and you're expecting that it's gonna take about 10 hours per client per week to be able to get this going. Well, then we're gonna go ahead and take those numbers and filter them into part number two. So 40 hours per week divided by the 10 hours per client. Well, that is gonna take us to a four clients per week, right? You can see how we came to that. Now, we're gonna take those numbers that we're going to carry into part three, and we're gonna answer those investment answers, right? How much per month are you planning on investing back into your business or into uh, other trainings or to whatever it is, right? Other investments that's gonna make money, okay? How much taxes do you plan on paying? What are your monthly business expenses, right? What are your ad costs? 
and then you're going to add that with your profits. So in this example, we're going to be investing $1,000 per month right back into our education or to other property or to like our savings account for other investments or to another business venture. But we're going to be constantly saving for other investments for future investment, right? And we're going to be paying taxes, right, for 4000 say 30%. We're going to be 30% of that profit that you're looking to take home, right? And then we have our expenses at a thousand, our ads at a thousand, our profits at thirteen. That brings our total revenue to thirteen or to twenty thousand. That twenty thousand dollar revenue now gives us an opportunity to divide that by the number of clients that we want to meet with each week. Okay, they're paying us on a monthly basis. We're paying and meet. We're meeting with them weekly. We can meet with four clients each week and still live the quality of life that we want to live. Give them the amount of attention that we believe that they need and you only have to charge $5,000 per month per client. If you did that and you found four clients, you'd be able to literally live the quality of life that you wanted to, and you'd be able to create a business model that's actually scalable because you just gotta get three or four people to help you do what you do, and now you're at 60, 70K, right? So you can see how fast this thing grows. Now you know exactly what it takes. Now your number might be different, right? This is just as an example. So there will be differences based on what you have to offer, what your market is and all that good stuff, right? So we just went into that. And now you have creating a battle plan. Step three now is all about creating a battle plan. This is gonna be about your mission and what it is that you're gonna stand strong for so that you can stand strong against other things. Because you've gotta get clear now on what's your bigger mission, okay? And you gotta be able to make sure you're sending that to the market. So it's not just simply enough to wanna make money anymore. You've, you've gotta make sure that you're sharing the bigger picture. Okay, so for example, our academy's mission is to help small businesses build and grow and scale their business from less than 100,000 in sales per year to 500,000 in their first 24 months of service with us. It's a big promise, but we know we can do it. So then we have the personal mission, though, which is a million and a million, right? This is my personal mission to design and create a facility that helps bring a million mostly mentally handicapped kids to Christ while learning the skill sets to earn at least a million at any time, regardless of what's happened in the market, right? Now, I make sure to tie both my professional and my personal missions whenever we approach our markets. And every single one of our clients knows the professional mission our firm operates by, and they know the larger personal mission we're aiming for. So I want you to ask yourself right now, what's your approach to the market? Can you ask yourself these questions right now and then write down the answer or make sure that you're asking your question or yourself these questions as often as possible, which is what's my business's professional mission? What's my larger personal mission? And am I sharing that with my market? Because you're going to tie this into how it's going to benefit them. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, people don't really care about what you do. People don't sometimes even care why you do. They care about why you do it if it's going to work for them. They care about what you do if it's going to help them. So this whole thing is not to get them to fall in love with you for having a big vision. It's because your vision is gonna help them achieve a specific quality of life that's gonna help them reach something that they couldn't get on their own or help them support another bigger group that's gonna get them to what they need to get to. It's all about self-preservation, right? We're humans, that's what we're going after. So when you can start to understand how you can tie your personal mission into the results in the lives of who you want to make an impact and who you want to sell to, then it's game over at that point, okay? So then we want to know, after you get to that point, what your USP is, right? What's your unique selling proposition? If you've been in the business for any amount of time, you've heard the term USP, and it's just unique selling proposition. It's that one thing, that one component that uniquely separates you, your product, or your service from the crowd. Now, as an example, our consulting firm's USP is creating advanced automated sales and marketing machines, right? But that's one USP. Another one of our USPs is like, let's say, when we're dealing with local businesses or businesses with larger, uh, with employees, another one of our USPs is when we could say to them that we have the ability to train your employees as well. That is another unique selling proposition because most agencies and other consulting firms don't actually train employees. They just deal with upper management. We're willing to train the employees, right? So we have an added value, a unique selling proposition, a unique value proposition that's going to get them to see why they should go with us versus the other people. So you can have more than one, but make sure that you understand what your unique selling proposition is for each one of your products or services you offer. Now, what's your backstory? Again, like we said, we just went through the mission. I don't want you to get it mixed up. That's why we kind of split it up there. The backstory is going to be where you came from, right? But your mission is going to be where you're going. So we want to make sure that when you're sharing your mission, 
that's where you're going. That's where the company's headed. That's where you guys are headed. That's where you are headed. But your backstory is where you came from. People do want to know about that. So this is another way where we can tie it all together once you get clear on how you want to share who you are and why you're in front of your market at that point and what significant mistakes can you help them avoid based on what your experience has been and what you've learned. Now, another question that I want you to ask yourself is, are you being real? Because this is going to be seen from your market. Are you letting your market see the real you? Are you sharing your story in a way that connects with and resonates and relates to your market? Uh, you know, if you were to go to our business page right now, one of our pin posts and a lot of the ones that we rotate out is our story. It's my story, right? It's like a 15 page PDF basically uh, that is going to share everything about what we do, why I do it and things like that. It just gives the market, it gives people an opportunity to see what, who we are and what we stand for, right? Because it's going to bring more people in that want to do business, that think like us, that can respect that business relationship. And you want people in your, in your whole professional services you know, say business model, you want it to be filled with people who respect what you do and respect you. So you can do that by having that real, that real touch with the market because they're going to get to know you and go, okay, this person either does take this kind of thing. They don't like this. They do like this, this is what they stand for. So your story matters a lot and who's going to be attracted to you in the market. Now, here's how I see it. If you're still thinking to yourself, well, Brandon, I still am kind of trying to put it together. Well, your story, okay, your backstory is going to be Robin. Okay, look at that. There we go. And your service is going to be Batman. Now, the backstory is the bridge that's going to connect your market to what you have that will actually save them. Okay, so you got to think that's how important this is. Okay, your backstory is Robin and your service is Batman. Okay, so you have to be able to bridge that together to make sure that your market can then be saved and you can bring everything to the forefront. Okay, now step four is to set up meetings by offering to help for free. Now, this is going to blow your mind because I'm not asking and I'm not saying what you think I'm saying, okay? I'm not saying what you think I'm saying. But we're going to help you set up meetings by offering to help for free. Now, with brutal honesty, we're going to do this. We're going to offer to help for free. And it sounds crazy, but you're doing this so that they can become a client and you will state your ultimate intention without beating around the bush. We're going to actually go through how to do it, what to say, how to follow through with this and make sure that you're not spending your time with people who just wouldn't purchase from you no matter what happened. <laughs> but we're also going to disqualify some people because we also know that how valuable your time is. So one of the methods that we've accustomed to is the collaborative close method. It's a method that we model after. Okay, we did not make this up, but I want to share with you that this thing works incredibly well. So I'm going to teach it to you today so that you can start to use this to generate high-end clients without having to sell them on anything really. You're going to get them to sell them to you. Okay, that's what you're going to learn right now. So the collaborative close is filled with seven steps. You want to offer to help for free. You want to explain the benefits of your help. You want to explain why you're doing this. You want to eliminate sales fear. You want to do the irresistible intrigue. You want to create an irresistible intrigue offer. You want to create and provide a takeaway and a non-selling point. And then you want to use a qualifying process. So that's the collaborative close method in a nutshell. Now we're going to go through this step by step right now. And we're going to let you know that when you offer to help for free, this is going to come after you've already built up some trust with these people. Okay, you've done this through some actual tactics I'm going to share with you in just a few moments. But for right now, imagine that the people that are going to be introduced to you have already consumed some of your content. They've already been through uh, maybe a couple of your marketing funnels, but they've seen and heard of you a little bit. Okay, So what we want to do is now create either a marketing campaign or maybe some follow-up or maybe some type of process that's going to help them see exactly how you can offer to help for free. And you're gonna do this without being salesy, right? And you're gonna just do it in a way and you're gonna explain because the first thing they're gonna say is, you know, why is this happening? So you're gonna say, okay, well, I wanna help you for free. In my case, I offer to help for 60 to 75 minutes, right? That's one of my off that's one of my offers for free. And then we can go ahead and say, well, the benefits of this is that you could walk away with a advanced automated sales and marketing machine or a free marketing campaign or whatever it is that I'm offering at that time. And then I'm gonna explain why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because Number one, I love helping business owners. Number two, it's how we get our daily clients. I'd rather let the value of my selling or I'd rather let the value of my meeting, of our meeting, right, of the presentation, do the selling for me than have to sell you on anything, you know, at the end. 
And then we say this is not a sales pitch in disguise, which is how we eliminate the sales fear. We go into our irresistible offer saying that if I waste even a second of your time, I'll send you a hundred bucks or I'll send you a gift card or I'll you know send you a gift or a shirt or a book or something like that, right? But I'll pay for your time basically. I'm gonna go ahead and back up that by paying for your time. I'm gonna make it irresistible. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's only available if you are. So I'll say, are you? Okay, so good, does that sound good? They'll say, yes, okay, we're good. So let me ask you, are you currently uh, ad investing at least a thousand dollars into paid advertising each month. And if they say no, they're not qualified for that. So I'm going to take it away. I'm saying, fortunately, you know, it was great talking with you, but uh, I I'm only going to be able to help those really, right? I can only offer that to those who I know I can help. And I could really help you right now if you have at least a thousand dollars a month in advertising. And if they say yes to the advertising, okay, well, good. Do you have, and I would go into my other takeaway questions. Okay, or are you willing to, or whatever your qualifications are, right? Now, we also want to go into the qualifying process, which the next qualifying process is going to be uh, explained to you in more detail in the next couple of slides, but imagine you now being able to have them fill out an application to work with you or to go into that next step so you can qualify them even further to see exactly how you can help them. Now, here's what not to do. Okay, now that you've started to understand that you can offer to help for free, you cannot offer it to everybody because if you do, people will start to ask you. If people start to ask you, you cannot say yes to everyone because then you'll become a slave to the business. And believe me, it's not fun when you do this. Don't forget that a part of the collaborative close that we just went through is the takeaway. Okay, that means that they have to meet simple yet strict requirements before ever taking you up on the meeting. Now, this is very important too. The very last part that I want to talk about before we move on is you are not offering to work for free, okay? That's just crazy, trust us, we've been there. This is what your head looks like, okay? You start to offer to help to actually work for free, you get excited because you got work, but then you're pounding your head in the couch because you actually have work that you're not getting paid for and you're actually responsible for, so it's not a good feeling, don't ever do it. Now the process to closing more clients and making sure you're hiring the right, helping the right people is the qualification process, okay? We have to make sure that after you get to this point and they've pass through that pre-takeaway, then we have to make sure they actually qualify, okay? So this is gonna help maximize the time you're setting aside to help others, but also ensure that they're in the position to benefit from your help. Now, this qualification process includes a short Q&A, okay? We have about an eight question Q&A, and I like to ask questions about intellect, you know, such as, uh, you know, what was the last book that you read when, and when did you read it? Right, something like that. We also have like a question that says, you know, on a scale of one to Dwayne Rock Johnson, how awesome are you? Right, we get some of the greatest responses from those questions, and you want people to get to be themselves and stuff like that. But we ask questions that's going to get people to be committed to actually investing in the time because it's a big, it's a big deal when you're giving away hours of your time each day. Okay, then we have the vetting process. That's why I want to go through. You see, this process is in detail. It's in depth. It goes into something that we learned the hard way. Uh, each time that we went and had some meetings over the last 36 months, we started to see there were holes in the way we were doing things. So each time that we had to add a, a, a layer to this actual system, we now have been able to show you how to save the most time and only meet with the most qualified people. So after you qualify them and after they've been, you know, after they filled out that qualification form and you've gone through it, the next step is to move your potential client or customer, right? That person who's now interested in that free session to the vetting process. Okay, you gotta move into the vetting process. The vetting process is where you're going to confirm that that person that you're about to help for free is fully aware of a few things. You gotta make sure that before you meet with them that they know and can expect what's gonna happen on the call or the meeting with you. Okay, you gotta know, they have to know how at the end of all you're gonna offer your services. They have to be made aware of your prices. They have to be able to uh, know that, you have to know that they can afford your prices. You have to know that if there's anybody else that needs to be on the phone or in the meeting to make a decision to move forward, and you got to make sure that they're interested in becoming a client if you can help. Now, one of the questions that we get is, well, how do you know if they're going to be interested? That, that doesn't make any sense. If they've never seen anything that, you know, how do we know? Well, it sounds like this. What we always say is we say, assuming during your call that we're able to clearly show you how to accomplish X, Y, and Z, would you be interested in becoming a client? If they say no to this, then they're just trying to waste your time. Because they said that their business, their business owner, they're looking to accomplish X, Y, and Z, right? They filled out an application to work with you. And if you say, can I, if I show you how to do this, are you interested in becoming a client? They go, no. Well, then they're not really looking for that as a solution. They're, they're not even looking to even implement it, 
which would be a waste of your time to waste your energy and power, right? Your special power on doing this for somebody who's not even going to use it. Okay. So the vetting process is completed before they actually get the help for free that they requested. But once they've arrived on that free help call, you're going to immediately move them through the confirmation process. Okay. Now, we want to make sure that we understand here, okay, qualification process, right, the qualification, and then we have vetting, and then we have confirmation. So qualification, vetting, confirmation. Once we get through this vetting process, right, because the vetting process is done and completed before they actually create, uh, get to the free help, after we get to that point and we vetted them, okay, we want to make sure that we've confirmed what we just vetted. Now, the confirmation process is where before you show them how you can help them on that meeting, so mind you, now you're meeting with them face to face or you're on that virtual call or you're over the phone and now you're gonna go ahead and reconfirm with them and you're gonna say, okay, it's gonna so based on my notes here and your notes are gonna be from the vetting call and the vetting process that you had, I see that you're here, right? And you'd like to get X result in Z amount of time. Is that still accurate? And they're gonna go, uh, yeah, okay, awesome. And after I walk you through some really cool ways to help you do just that, I'm going to simply ask you if you'd like for me to help you put it all together. Absolutely no pressure. Is that fair? And they're going to say absolutely. Say, okay, well, do you remember the prices of what it looks like to become a client? Yes. Okay, and you want to have them repeat that back to you. Okay, and then also I want to reconfirm that you won't have to sell an organ or anything or do anything illegal to pay for you know anything moving forward, would you? No, that's right. We can pay, Brandon. Okay, good. Now, if they say or balk at anything during that process, you let them go immediately. You have to let them go immediately if during that confirmation process you discover that they aren't ready to be helped or that they have zero interest in becoming a client. If that's the case, then here's what you say. You're going to say, thanks for being honest with me. I'm glad that you shared that because I would have hated to waste your time. Instead, what I'm going to do is send over some free resources that will be better suited to get you what you need. If you change your mind or once you're ready, reach back out and we'll be happy to help. You see how easy that is to now free up that hour so that you could then focus on bringing in new business who's actually qualified to give you or is interested in giving you the, the time and money to become a client. Now, if everything checks out, once they've confirmed their interest in moving forward, that's when you can move into your presentation of how you plan to help them. And I want to be very clear again that when you're going through this, a lot of people will say, well, how can you, this doesn't seem like they're going to say yes right up front if they haven't seen anything. You're not actually getting them to commit to a yes. You're getting them to commit to not giving you a lame excuse and that's how you're going to get higher caliber clients okay is because we want to make sure we can hold people accountable and once you walk them through now all the cool creative ways that you can get their business better results that's when you're going to go ahead and pitch your services or your product now step five is all about getting clients without a large ad budget it's the vpc method okay now in the VPC method, it stands for value pitch close. And you wanna deliver value first. You wanna be able to build your audience, okay? We're talking about delivering value first and then building your audience. So think about this. Now, this is the best way for a low ad budget. You got a couple hundred bucks a month. This is how you wanna build it up right now, okay? Because in about a year from now, you're gonna be so happy you did it this way. Now, you do want leads, sales coming in on, like right away, I get that. But all your costs, in the, long, in the long term of your business, will go down dramatically once you start building goodwill up front. Okay, and I want you to think long term now. Like I said, this value first is going to help with the long term cost. Now, goodwill videos are going to be a great way for you to do that. It's going to help you build credibility and test ideas directly with your market. Now, these are just short videos, and the primary motive is to educate and then sell. But it's just a soft sell. Okay, it's just educate and sell, educate and sell. You're going to create a bunch of these. Okay, a bunch of these, and you're going to just start dumping them in front of your market that you want to sell big time to. But you're going to preface it now with just some nice goodwill videos, some nice how-to videos, some strategy videos, some things that are going to get them to see that you do know what you're talking about and that you can't help them. And then at the back end, you might sell some stuff, but that's not the main point right now. Right now, it's delivering the value, okay? Right now, it's delivering the value. Put in the time now to reap the reward later. Now, we're looking at once you've done that, you can earn the right to pitch, right? Value pitch close. And warmed up, warmed up audiences are always going to get lower costs. So lead magnets are just a great way for you to start generating those leads from those warmed up audiences who have then previously viewed your goodwill content. So what we're looking at here are simple pieces of content that share the steps of action to help you move that needle one step closer to your ideal result. That's what you're helping them do. Now, 
Normally, they're made up of PDFs, checklists, guides, case studies, video tutorials, webinars, or audios. I'm sure you've seen and you understand what a lead magnet is. So a trigger, what happens is after they opt in, it's going to trigger a series of follow-up emails, right? Or sales sequences that are going to deliver even more goodwill, some more cool stuff, and offers to those only when they're actually interested or learning more. So imagine you being able to automate your entire back-end sequence. You're building up a pipeline of people who had already given you their time based on the goodwill videos that you created. You're then putting them through some more goodwill, which is then gonna trigger some sales sequences, and you got all this stuff going on on the back end automatically. That's, that's how fast this stuff can happen. And all that now is gonna be getting you at a lower cost because you decided to build up the audience first. And then we have the closing process, which is now you're gonna follow that seven step collaborative close method. Right now that you've built up that audience, and now that you've got that lead gen coming in, we're gonna be able to filter in this collaborative close method by creating what we call some sales sequences. Go ahead and create different ways for them to get in front of you for your free meeting. And just real quick, some example lead magnets so you can see how simple it is to put together. Uh, real quick for you to be able to get done. And when you're creating those lead generation funnels, there's only three ways for you to actually promote that content to build up that funnel, right? There's only three ways you can do it, okay? And the first way, of course, is social media, right? Social media, and this includes all the major players that we have online. And really all this means is just you promoting, right, your lead generation on posts, leveraging the organic engagement that you can get, which unfortunately is like less than 10% of all platforms right now, right? And then sending the personal messaging, which to me, this, this, this way right here is what a lot of people do when they get into business, but there's a better way. And there's then the pros and the cons, right? Like we said, there's wildly effective when done right, but it's wildly time consuming. You have to have content maps, content calendars, scheduling. You have to create the images. All you have to be up to date with all the algorithm changes. It's about an eight to 10 hour job, okay, to be keeping up on social media by yourself. Not fun, okay, at least not for me. Then you have paid advertisers. Now, now this, is where, this is my wheelhouse, right? This is what we love to do. Now again, we do have social media under, like we love social media as far as what it can do, but me personally, that's not what I love. Okay, I love being able to create advertising dollars and a profit. So for me, paid advertising is gonna help me free up more time to do just that. This is anything from Google PPC or Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or anything like that, but it's made for the intention of building a pipeline or selling a product or service. Now the pros are that it's wildly effective. The cons is that for a startup, it's usually not even a, a, an option, right? Because they don't have the right kind of capital to sustain a loss or two, or two months loss. So they can't do that, <laughs> but there's a testing period. Now, number three is the SEO, which again is the bane of my existence. I, I'm not a, an SEO guy now. Do we use SEO and do we optimize our website? And do we understand it? And do we have, yeah, but is it something that I'm going to do myself? No, because I don't like it. It's boring to me. I just, I'm not a fan of it, right? So for me, I'm going to leave that out for the pros to take care of. But I do know that if I'm going to have a choice, right? Between all three of these, because even look at the SEO pros right here, it increases your visibility, as you would know. The cons that it's insanely time consuming again. And so if you had to choose, I mean, if you want all three of them to be inside working your business all the time. This way you can use what we call the trifecta. I use it as, the, as that all the time. You have SEO, you have social media, you have paid advertising. And those three things working together are going to help grow your business tremendously. And then if I had to pick my favorite, like I said, it's got to be paid advertising. It lets me exchange money for time and more market information. And then I get to turn around and use that to make more money and to free up more time. Now, step six is creating desirable offers that sell. Before we get into the offer, I just want to go ahead and make sure that we're clear. You've identified up to this point who has your money, okay? Why they would want to give you their money. How to price yourself to match your quality of life and your lifestyle how to talk to more who are looking to give you that money, and then how to use the VPC method to get the lowest cost per client. So up to now, we should be pretty comfortable in creating an offer knowing that you have all the pieces of the puzzle here to start generating clients. So a solid offer when you're thinking about crafting an offer. Your offer is not your product. So we'll get that out of the way. Your offer is not your product. Okay, Your offer is what is wrapped around your product. Okay, It's a way for you to you know, get more people to your product. But you gotta imagine it's the wrapper, okay? Your offer is the wrapper. And so when we think about how we're gonna create our offers, you number one, first and foremost, have to have these four elements. Number one is your irresistible intriguing offer. Number two are bonuses. Number three is scarcity. Number four is your guarantee. Now we're gonna go through these one by one. So number one is the one element that your offer can't survive without. It's your IIO. 
And all that stands for is your irresistible, intriguing offer. It's a powerful piece of your offer that will have your prospects wondering, how, how can they even do that? You know, how can they ever do, how are they even giving that as an offer, right? That's what you want people to say. I mean, one example would be, you know, we'll give you triple your money back. Usually when people hear that, they're like, oh, really? Like, that's crazy. And people will do it just because they're like, it can't be that good, right? If it is, if it isn't, I'm going to get triple my money back, right? It's a good investment. So think about what you can do to create your IIO. Number two is your value add-ons and your bonuses. So your bonuses or your value add-ons don't always have to be discounts and pricing. Um, you want your bonuses to highlight the value of paying your current asked price. Consider, okay, what things do you already do or what can you add in addition to this offer that complements the offer? You know, something that truly makes it so undeniably good that even you go, damn, that's good, right? You got to love you when Spock says it, right? Damn, that's good. <laughs> so the first step the first is we want to step back and become the consumer, okay? A great way to gauge the temperature of your bonuses is to step back from being the offer, the creator, right? And to back into being the consumer. Ask yourself this question. Do these bonuses excite me? Do they move the needle for me to feel good about making the decision to buy? I mean, if the bonuses don't get you excited, the chances are that your audience won't get excited either. So number three is scarcity. And is it even necessary? Okay, this is an argument that will go on for the ages inside marketing, okay? And it's not necessary. Absolutely, it is not necessary. But what we've seen is every offer performs better with a scarcity factor. So is, is, it, necessary, is, is it necessary to you know, get great results? No. I mean, you could test it without it. Maybe yours performs differently. I would say to test. So for us, we've just seen it work better with the scarcity factor, okay? And it wants to, you have to have it be real though, right? You have to have it be real urgency, real scarcity. Um, if it's not real scarcity, then of course, it's not going to work as good as it should. Plain and simple. Number four is your guarantee, okay? The final thing is the rock solid guarantee. Guarantees are just gestures of your confidence in the offer's value that your audience requires in order to make them feel confident in purchasing, okay? It's your confidence in your offer's value. Think of it like that. How confident are you in, your, in you doing the job that you say you can do or your product saying it can do the job that it says it can do? Now... A lot of times, you know, people will say that they can't, well, I don't want to guarantee this. If you don't want to guarantee it, then you probably shouldn't say it does that. The, the guarantee should be something that would only happen as a result if the purchaser or client is also held responsible for their actions. So you got to imagine they have to be able to accomplish something. They have to do something. They can't just, they have to get, like, there has to be a use of it, right? For, for us, right, uh, they have to do something. If it's a 30-day guarantee, then there has to be a sense of accountability for them to have done something for us to be able to transfer that guarantee and say, yes, you qualify for that. So here we go, is a look at everything that we just went through. Think about it. everything that we just went through was going through how you can create this and what goes into each spot. And that's just what it would look like at a 30,000 foot view, okay, for setting up your meetings in the next 30 days on automation. Okay, another way that you could do this to start to generate clients is by picking up the phone and call and call on these businesses. Uh, we have a cold calling module inside of our academy that is incredible right now, and we still use the same script today to be able to get in front of, uh, you know, qualified and pre-qualified business owners and generate fifteen and thirty thousand dollar clients. So believe me, the cold call is not dead. You could also go into digital marketing and right, start doing the Facebook advertising, paid advertising. You could do the SEO or anything else. Uh, but everything that I went through today is right here laid out. And you can now take everything that I had shared with you and start to put it into action, right? Because you've been here with me for the entire workshop. You've seen how you can get your next high paying client in the next 30 days. And you know that with the right training, you can triple that every month. With that being said, though, if you're only here for the free stuff, I hope that you got a lot of value, but it's time to say goodbye, well, for now. On the other hand, if, you're like someone, if you'd like some help with putting everything together that we went over today, then I've got something just for you. It's my newest online sales and marketing training platform, okay? It's called Do Whatever It Takes Academy. It was created for entrepreneurs who aren't generating more than $100,000 in sales, but who are looking to grow past the $500,000 mark in the next 24 months. Now, as a part of the academy, here's what you're going to be getting, okay? We got 125 lessons ready to waiting for you right now, 
Okay, one to two lessons added weekly, the newest strategies, the most up-to-date methods and proven principles needed for your business to grow, weekly live pop-ups to get one-on-one -on -one so you can get everything you need to grow your business as fast as possible. We have monthly members calls, okay, complete with panel, hot seat. We'll spend about 30 minutes during this uh, members call together, shoulder to shoulder, maybe even more, 45 minutes sometimes, making sure that you have everything that you need in place. Okay, we'll make sure that your campaigns are looked over, your ad copy, your email copy, your setup, your tech setup, everything that you need to make sure that it's working and functioning properly to get you results fast, okay? Then we also have Winning End Wednesdays where this is every other week as well, where we have uh, more deep dives going into the most and the highest performing ad over the last two weeks for us and our highest clients. And then we have hot seats on there as well. You can come out, ask questions, and get your current campaigns looked at all the same. We also make it 100% interactive. So this means that you're going to have all the downloadable worksheets and everything that you need 24 seven. Now we also give you a hundred K resource center, which is going to be filled with email swipes, video templates, sales guides, call scripts, webinar blueprints, customer exercises. I'm talking about everything. This is a huge resource center. We keep adding to it and adding more to it to make sure you have everything that you need. Uh, we also have a recap vault. So if you feel like, well, am I picking up where I left off or did I miss anything? We actually have every single member's call recorded for you in our recap vault. Every single winning ad Wednesday and every single member's meeting is all going to be there for you, ready to go and uh, you know accessible from anywhere across the U.S. of the world. Now, we also have a self-paced as you learn, as you implement syllabus. Okay, so this way you can move as fast as you like, you can move as slow as you'd like, right? It does not matter about any of that. There's no, uh, well, you have to be out in 30 days or you have to have it completed in eight weeks or you don't get kicked. No, it's, it's move as you go, okay? What we like to have is a nice community of people who when they need us, we're there, right? And that's what we're building up and that's what you're gonna see when you become a part of the academy. It's nothing like that's out there right now online today. Now you also are gonna have your own member's voice. Okay, you can actually request custom business trainings that are, are, are really for you. Okay, if you feel like something's not in there, as an example, Dan over here, he went ahead and found that there was not a, a training for contracts, right? And so, for us being in the business and me being an old, you know, real estate guy, I'm very efficient in writing contracts and reading contracts. So, what we would do is we just put together a training of the same contracts that we would create for our business when we're you know, getting clients to sign our contracts. Again, this was not in the academy. It was something he asked for. And next thing you know, a bunch of people really loved what he had asked for because it helped them out too. So again, you find something in there that's not in there, let us know and we'll have it created for you within a week of it being sent to our support staff. Okay. And again, it's going to give you the ultimate personal treatment that you need so you can create nonstop lead flow and a steady sales stream and a strong brand that outlasts any market conditions. Plus, okay, you thought this was over, but plus, for the next five people that are going to join the academy, you're going to get two bonuses, okay? Bonus number one is going to be our signature analyze me call. It's going to be one full hour where we go through your offers, your sales processes, your pricing, your market data, and make sure all your numbers are in place so you know exactly how to run a profitable campaign on your own, okay? Plus everything else that you're going to get inside of the academy. I'm going to be able to give you now bonus number two, which is going to be 100% Facebook ads install. Okay, I'll actually create your first ad campaign for you. That's everything from the market research to creating the images to making a quick promo video if I need to for you and the entire ad copy. Okay, I'll also make sure that the pixels are installed correctly and that you have everything set up for a winning ad campaign. That's valued at 1997. Okay, all that will be done for you. Okay, just by being one of the first five. Right now, the next five members into the academy. Now, how much is this? You might be saying, well, it's, you might be thinking it's got to be 497 or more, right? Or maybe it might even be 297 or more, right? But what if it's not 497 or 297? What if I told you that everything today was only $100? Would that get you excited? Because if you still want more, that's okay. I don't blame you because it does get better. If you're someone who's going to take my 24 months serious and you're ready to put in some serious work together, then choose to upgrade and create an annual account. Okay, you're going to get to save 16% on the entire year, plus receive one golden ticket on top of the other two bonuses. Okay, I only have five golden tickets available, but the golden ticket is a $1,250 credit for our personal consulting. 
bring in the grand total in real life bonuses, okay, to $3,444. We'll meet every week for 30 days, just you and me, and we'll go through each campaign. We'll collaborate on your offers, creating your marketing funnels and your ad campaigns, or whatever it is that you're going to need the most help with to get the result that you're looking for. We'll also reverse engineer your numbers so that you know exactly what it's going to take to reach your goals and the investment it'll require. If that's something that's interesting to you, then hit the button off to the side and create your 21-day test run account or your annual account today. Remember, the first five people who take me up on this offer will be getting both bonuses no matter what, but you're also going to save 16% on the entire year when you get your one golden ticket and decide to create your annual account today. Now, here's just what a few of the other Academy members are saying about the Do Whatever It Takes Academy. You got Josh who's saying, if y'all are in the Academy, you need to be. These new PDFs are invaluable. Thanks, guys. You got Tony who's saying that I listened through at work, uh, talking about one of the members calls, and he got as far as a 96-hour influx. He says now he's back home doing the homework and the assignments. He was like, just browsing through all the table of contacts has me goosebumps, right? Uh, you have JL saying that, you know, it's crazy. Before I joined the Academy, I struggled with all these ideas. Now I'm like, dang. All these ideas are there. You got Dan over here saying that, you know, everything inside the academy uh, is pure gold, right? You should be definitely charged on a lot more, but this community is so awesome, right? Again, I don't know anyone else who does the hangouts or pulls people out and goes over what they are doing and helps them improve their business and processes, etc. right? It's just incredible. And then you have Christian over here. He's talking about how he invested just $40 into his or 64 bucks or something into his whole investment, right? And ended up generating close to $1,500 in sales okay so there's a lot that we're being able to do with these folks and i can't wait to see you inside so hopefully you got a lot of value from this hopefully you saw that there's a lot going on right now inside the academy uh we have you know like i said over 125 lessons we have weekly meetings we have offer opportunities for private calls the private group uh people that are going to support you me and my team are here for you and believe me after you get inside and you get to see how fast you're going to be able to get traction you're going to be excited that you join the do whatever it takes academy so if you've been interested in trying to find a place that you can really begin to build out your marketing campaigns your sales campaigns and get the entire one-on-one -on -one in one place then do whatever it takes academy is going to be the home for you so go ahead and click the button off to the side here hope you had a lot of fun today i had a long go had a lot of fun going over this with you and i'll make sure to see you and welcome you officially inside the academy